so uh, it was an apocalyptic scene. Um, we heard the first uh, we heard the first explosion. Uh, I was on the phone. I, I, I knew it was an explosion, and uh, we directly uh, scrouched, and then the other explosion happened, and uh, we felt a huge impact. Like I uh, I flew. My dog flew, uh, and in a blink of an eye, the house was destroyed. Uh, the buildings were shaking uh, for a couple of seconds, um, uh, and directly, it, uh, like the, our first thought was, it was it's a bomb. All Beirut is destroyed. All the windows in Beirut was destroyed. And I got a call from my girlfriend saying that uh, her grandma is, uh, she lost her hand. Uh, the glasses and uh, the glass in her house. Uh, uh, hurt her badly, so I went. Uh, so we went and transported her to the hospital, which was a nightmare because all the roads were, were jammed. And um, in the hospital, it was uh, uh, horrible. The scene was horrible. Uh, people were on the ground. Blood is everywhere, and the, the chaos in the hospital was was horrible. Like it was uh, uh, unspeakable. We stayed two hours on the floor before we had the chance to speak with a nurse because everyone was super, uh, uh, like everyone was engaged with, with the patient. All the hospitals are full. On my way back from the hospital home, people are cleaning up. Uh, they're cleaning up the mess because uh, if you walk anywhere in Beirut now, you'll be walking on glass. Uh, all the injuries are glass injuries. Now what's happening, people are cleaning the aftermath and uh, in Lebanon we need support and it's not coming from the government, it's not coming from the state, it's coming from each other. And, uh, and maybe this is a chance to tell you, uh, um, we need the international eye uh, to, to look towards us. Uh,